Hello and welcome to this section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. Uh, here in this section we're going to work this problem with source transformations and we're going to use source tr transformations to find out what is the current through the 4 ohm resistor. Here's the 4 ohm resistor here. Now we've done enough of these circuit problems for you to sort of probably realize that this is not a very complicated circuit. And you could use lots of other techniques to find the current through this resistor. I mean, you could set up mesh currents very easily and solve those equations. You could set up node voltage really easily and solve those guys. But those are going to involve simultaneous sets of equations. And, you know, this is a pretty simple circuit, but if you had a very large circuit, a large set of equations, especially if you didn't have a computer, would be difficult to solve. So we have other methods, you know, and, and uh, what makes it a little tricky, though, is we have two voltage sources. We have a 40-volt source here, and we have a 6-volt source on the other side. So how do we figure out what the current is, go is going to be through here? Well, we can use source transformations. There are many ways to tackle a problem. What I'm going to do is leave this side of the circuit kind of intact, because this is what we're trying to find here, the current through that 4 ohm resistor. Um, and I'm going to leave this intact, and we're going to start at this side of the circuit and simplify going that way in order to get there. So first look what we have over here. We have a voltage source in series with a resistor. Right? So this is prime candidate to be simplified. It's a voltage source. It doesn't matter if the resistor is over here versus over here, as we've drawn it in the previous section. It is, it is a voltage source in series with a resistor. So the way I'm going to show you this is I'm going to draw a little bit of a dotted line around this guy to kind of remind you this is what I'm working on in this step of the problem. So if you remember back to the previous section, we talked about source transformations. When you take a voltage source that's in series with a resistance and you transform it into a current source in parallel with this 5 ohm resistance, you have to calculate the value of the current source you need. And that value is I sub S, which is the new source voltage, is whatever the old source, I'm sorry, the, the, the new source current is equal to the old source voltage divided by the resistance you have. I is equal to V over R. It's just Ohm's law. In this case, uh, it's 40 volts and the resistance is 5 ohms and so 40 by 5 you're going to get 8 amps so when we do the if we transform just this part of the circuit the current source that's going to be required is going to be um, it's going to be 8 amps so at this point you just kind of need to get used to drawing a lot of stuff you could skip steps here but what's going to end up happening if you do that is you're probably going to get confused so let's go ahead and just do it. So we have a resistance here, we have another resistance here, we have the 6 ohm resistance here, we have the 20 ohm resistance here, and let me draw everything in between. So 6 volts, 4 ohms, that's what we're solving for, the current through there, 30 ohms, 10 ohms, 6 ohms up here, 20 ohms over here. Now. We have everything redrawn up to this point. Now we're simplifying this. We take the same exact resistance that we had and we stick it in parallel. So this is 5 ohms. And we change this voltage source into a current source, pushing current up because that's the direction of this voltage there. It would be pushing uh, current out. The value of this current source is 8 amps. So we put it as 8 amps. Now you may, you may say, well, why do we do that? This doesn't look any... Any, any simpler, but what you realize is that as soon as you redraw it this way, with this resistance down here, these guys are now in parallel. These two resistors are in parallel. So I can 